Assalamu alaikum. In this video, we are going to install Odoo on uh, AWS EC2 uh, cloud server. Uh, I just written uh, down 15 steps uh, to summarize the installation of uh, Odoo on the cloud. Uh, if you follow these steps, you will be able to install uh, multiple Odoo instances on a, a single cloud server. So let's start uh, with uh, the first step. Uh, in the first step, we will uh, run the update command. Uh, so let me run it first. And the second command is sudo apto update to uh, update everything. So as I run uh, this command before, so everything is uh, updated. So let's start uh, the installation process. Uh, the second step is uh, very important and you will have to install some uh, of the tools uh, that are required for Odoo. Like Git, uh, Git is uh, for code uh, management purpose. PP is to install Python packages, Node.js uh, and other tools. You need to install first so the command to install these all uh, tools in uh, i just uh, combine all these dependencies into a single command so by running this command uh, we can install all these things so let me run it first so this will take uh, some time i'm just uh, pausing the video uh, after that, uh, we will uh, have to create a user, uh, Ubuntu user. What it will do, it will, uh, this command, uh, we, will, we have to run this command to create Ubuntu user. So, uh, what it will do, it will just create uh, a user and add a new directory uh, with the name Udo. Uh, and also it will create a directory here. So, uh, uh, whatever uh, name is specified, it will just create a user with that name. So, I'm just uh, using, I, I will install Udo, so uh, Udo 13, so I will uh, use, I will replace it with Udo 13, like that. So, Udo 13 and Udo 13. So, I will run this command, so just create an uh, to user. So now uh, we have to uh, install and configure Postgres. Postgres is uh, a database which Odoo uses at the backend. So we can just install uh, Postgres uh, by just this command. This will learn, uh, do everything like Odoo installation configuration. So uh, let me run this command. So this will also take uh, some, some time. So it just pop me that a pop up uh, window that if uh, just to confirm that if you want to install it or not. So I'll just uh, uh, enter yes that I want to install it. So this is the uh, the log is showing that this is the file where you can find the auto the postgres logs so after that uh, uh, after that we have to install wkhtml to pdf what uh, what is the purpose of wkhtml to pdf is that would uh, uses this uh, this uh, wkhtml to pdf uh, to print the pdf report so if you don't have this package on your server you will not be able to print uh, pdf no uh, we are going to download um, a stable version of wk html to pdf so uh, we will uh, use 0 0.12.5 this is the stable version uh, uh, which we can use for o 13 so uh, uh, we will not face any problem so what uh, this command 
does it will uh, download wkhtml to pdf package and in the sixth step we will uh, run this command uh, to install a wkhtml package so let's do it now so let me copy this command and uh, let me open the console and paste it here so what it will do it will download wkhtml to pdf so um, let me check it what it downloaded so you can see that uh, it downloaded wkhtml to pdf 0.12.5 version so after that uh, we will run the install install command to install uh, this package as i told you before this is uh, this package is will be used uh, to print pdf um, uh, in Udo. so without this package we cannot uh, print pdf so after that uh, uh, we are going to create a Postgres user. So uh, in step four, we have installed uh, Postgres um, on our server, and now uh, in step seven, we will create a Postgres users. So you know, what we will do is we'll, uh, run this command like sudo. Sudo means super users switch a user to Postgres. Uh, so once we switch to Postgres and then create a user uh, with the name of Odoo. So we will change this name to Odoo 13 like we want to maintain multiple instances. So we will change its name to uh, Odoo 13 because we are going to install Odoo 13. As before I created uh, Ubuntu user with the name Odoo 13. So this just created uh, uh, Postgres user for us so now what we will do in this step we are going to uh, change the password uh, we uh, change not change but we want to set the password for uh, Odoo 13 user so what this is just a Postgres command like uh, alter alter means change uh, role um, like Odoo uh, 13 uh, with password uh, so here we can uh, specify the password like uh, i will first uh, run this command to open the postgres console uh, like psql sorry switch so does your postgres we will uh, switch the user to Postgres and then we will run this command psql so now we can uh, run this command to change the password um, for this user rule like uh, we want the password my password so you will have to um, or we can set it is same as the name of the user but i uh, uh, set uh, the password for postgres user uh, which is odoo 13 and also uh, the password is same as odoo 13 this command uh, after that um, we want to switch back to uh, user Udo 13 uh, which we created for Ubuntu here so let me just do it here so my server is just uh, disconnected so let me reconnect again so let me clear uh, the screen so what I will do I will uh, switch to uh, user 13 so you do su do 13 we have already created a ubuntu user uh, with the name odoo 13 uh, in order to uh, why we are creating different user for uh, this instance like uh, because uh, in this method we want to install odoo uh, for a separate user to maintain different instances 
like uh, I can install another Udo uh, 11, Udo 12 with the same different user, with a different user. So we will be able to maintain a different Udo instance on the single server. Let me just switch the user. So uh, I just switch to uh, Udo 13, like you can see here. So what I will do in the next step, uh, in the next step uh, from the Ubuntu user, uh, which I created like Udo 13 above inside the directory created. Uh, so I will create in config file, but uh, I will leave this step uh, for the end. First, I, uh, I will have to clone uh, Udo code using this command. So where I will clone the, uh, what this command does, it uh, uh, git as we have uh, installed here in step 2. So git uh, clone will download all the code of branch 13. It will download the latest uh, branch code and where it will be downloaded, we, we can specify the directory here. So I want to download here in opt uh, slash o 13 and o so let me run this command and see what happens. So git clone. Yeah, it is downloading uh, Odo community uh, 13 branch uh, depth one. We specify depth one to download the latest code, not all the uh, history along with it. So we just uh, wait for some time to download uh, all uh, the code. The so let's discuss about the next step. In the next step, uh, what we will do, we will uh, install Python dependencies which are, are needed for Odoo 13. Uh, so all the dependencies are defined inside the uh, requirements.txt file. So we will just run this command and all the dependencies will get installed automatically. So uh, we need to uh, take care that uh, where uh, the requirements file is located. So what we will do, we will navigate to Udo 13 Udo uh, directory and then we will run this command. So let's just do it like cd opt Udo 13 so let me just ls this what we will do uh, we have also a navigate to Udo directory and we can see the requirements are txt file so let me paste this command so, so I will pip install install uh, requirements txt as we are inside Udo directory so we will just write a requirements at txt to run this uh, file sorry uh, so we need to install pip first yes uh, we have installed a pip for uh, uh, like for uh, run this command so uh, we are going to install python uh, we are going to install dependence for Udo 13 so python 3 is required for and python 3.6 is required for um, Udo 13 therefore uh, we will run this command using pip3 because uh, pip3 is installed on our server and uh, we will use uh, we will install all these dependencies using uh, python 3 mm. after that let, let us uh, discuss about the next steps like uh, we will install supervisor so let me tell you about supervisor what is a supervisor uh, every system requires some um, service management system like uh, if you install Udo, Udo should be restarted automatically if either you want to uh, restart or uh, restart Ubuntu. 
or we close it so it should uh, remain the service should remain active so supervisor does this for us and it is a service uh, manager and uh, we will install it using a sudo apt install supervisor so this uh, these dependencies will take some time and uh, we uh, have to wait uh, for it for some time to uh, install it completely uh, so after installing uh, uh, supervisor uh, we will uh, configure it uh, like this uh, in like in this directory we will create and config file for this uh, and then uh, we will stop supervisor service and uh, then start and then we will reload to add uh, the link of the service in it so after doing these steps uh, we will uh, we will uh, our auto service will restart automatically every time if we restart the system that is it for this video we will cover the rest of the steps in another video because we don't want to uh, uh, make so longer video uh, we will uh, stop this video here and we will create another video for uh, you people also you can watch this video uh, on our youtube channel if you like this video uh, please subscribe our channel please share this video or with all your colleagues and friends and also please like this video thank you